Okay, we're back. Um, I've spent a couple of hours now um, removing wax and spinning out honey from a total of 18 frames. And um, uh, I've been collecting uh, the rough honey in the bottom of this silver drum here, the bottom of the extractor. Uh, obviously, the valve, the valve has been closed the whole time. But now a wonderful thing has happened, and that is that I can feel that uh, honey has started to fill up um, up to the point where it's touching the bottom of the frames. And I know that because as I spin the frames, suddenly it's getting a lot harder to do, and that means the frames are moving through honey instead of just through air. Uh, this is, of course, a great uh, development because it means I have a nice volume of honey in there. So what I need to do now before going any further with the extraction is to remove some of the honey from, from the extractor uh, drum. And to do that, we use a regular five gallon uh, bucket, which I'm, I'm borrowing this one from the club, but I have two of them I, uh, that belong to me. It has a wonderful um, uh, valve that can be opened. Um, but uh, obviously it's very important to make sure that's closed and tightly closed while we're um, delivering honey into it because once again, you don't want it on your, um, on your basement floor. And the other thing I'm going to be doing while I'm um, moving it from the drum to the bucket is running it through the first filter. Uh, we use three filters in our club, three successive, uh, successively small sizes. The biggest one is 600 microns, and um, it's sort of like a strainer, and um, it's pretty easy to get the honey through this. So we just let gravity do it. It slips nicely into the into the five gallon bucket, and then uh, uh, I open up the um, the gate here. And hopefully we're going to see some really nice honey coming out here right away. And there it is. It's coming out. Um, you might be able to see, if I bring it closer, that um, the honey here is, there it is. It's um, got all kinds of um, bits of wax and, and other foreign particles in it. Um, and that's no problem. That's the job of the 600 micron filter to get rid of those. So this will take not very long, maybe 15 minutes or so to get it through this. And um, then after that, um, we're going to... Uh, put it through some other filters, possibly tomorrow, maybe not today. So anyway, there it is. There's the honey coming out into the filter. Once again. And just to show uh, what it looks like inside the extractor with the uncapped uh, frames sitting um, on their sides, nine of them at a time. There are two doors to get in here. And uh, these actually are not completely spun out, so once, um, once I get the, the honey out, um, I will be able to um, continue spinning and get even more into the drum. Uh, so we're going to pause the uh, video for now, but uh, that's where we are. It's uh, almost 6.30. I've been at this all day, essentially. And I think I probably have another, mostly another full day to go before I'm done with the... Um, with kind of the extraction, including the filtering, but that doesn't even uh, include the bottling. That's going to take another day or so. Anyway, we'll see you in a bit for the next video.